Okay, so I have another video for you guys today, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm calling my medieval or castle layout. So the sort of idea for this is just to have a place for me to display all my castle stuff, because this is the second theme, or my second favorite theme. This is the theme I love a lot. Sorry, I was trying not to show that light too much. <laughs> uh, it's nighttime right now, so the lighting isn't the best, so I'm using all kinds of lamps. You can see one over there and this one here. Um, I'll probably be moving it around to show you guys some things. So uh, yeah, I have a bunch of different sets here from the uh, fantasy era sets, like this troll assault wagon I think it's called, and then I have some of the Knight's Kingdom sets and the Kingdoms sets as well. So three different eras of castle. So I'll start over Actually, I forgot about this era of castle. So this is the uh, Nexo Knight uh, people, or army. It's not really an army, it's like 20 people. <laughs> How many is it? It's 4 by 3. Oh my god, math. 12. <laughs> yeah, it's just 12 uh, soldiers here. So I just got these guys from these little battle packs. There weren't even really battle packs, they were like little accessory kits. These guys used to have these like orange heads. But I gave a lot of them yellow heads just to kind of fit in with everybody else. Um, and I took off some of their... They had like this translucent or translucent neon orange armor. And I didn't really like the look of it, so I just got rid of it. And yeah, they just looked like normal kind of soldiers. I really like the blue actually on them, like the blue helmets and stuff. It looks really cool. So they're kind of standing here. I have the Knight's Kingdom guys standing in front. Oh man, I do not remember these guys' names at all. <laughs> the blue guy's Jaco, I know that. This guy's Rashis? Radis? R not Radish. Um, I don't know, he's the monkey guy. He's the falcon uh, guy, Jaco. Uh, the red guy's Santis, I think? Yeah. And then the king is kind of up here in this tower that I built a long time ago, actually. Like, as a, as a kid. So I decided just to keep it, why not? I have uh, King Matthias, Matthias, I don't know. He's up there kind of like addressing the troops and stuff. It's really hard to see, but in here, there's actually the wizard from, yeah, you can see his hand. He's from the Knight's Kingdom stuff. I have two of these guys and I just decided to put one of them with the potions and stuff that come in his little set. Decided to put them in there. <clears throat> and so the set that's next to it, there's two in the back, but I'll get to that later. Uh, this is the, Assault tower set? I forget what it's called. I modified it actually because this drawbridge would not stand up and just kept falling and hitting this guy. So I decided to try and modify it. I put a headlight brick just to sort of keep it together. It's not actually attached, but it just kind of, oh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it just kind of sits in there, locks in place, which is pretty cool. So for now, it's just kind of up like that. And I'll get this out of the way actually so you can see this stuff behind it. So this, for the longest time, was my only fantasy era castle set. <laughs> and it was like a book. I think it was a Brickmaster book or something. And it came with this little tower and another tower that's over to my left. And I'll show you that in a minute. And it has this little rack. And it came with two minifigures. Came with... Oh, I don't remember which one. It came with one of the, the blue guys with the, the crown knights, I think is what they're called. Uh, that little symbol on their chest there. It was one of those guys. It wasn't him because he came from the troll battle assault wagon set or whatever it's called But it came with one of them and a skeleton and for the longest time when I was a kid That's the only set I had and the fantasy castle or fantasy era castle stuff was my favorite stuff Like ever like well besides Star Wars obviously <laughs> Obviously this is my Calendar Wow, I forgot the name of calendar uh, it's a Monday night, so <laughs> it's like 9 o'clock right now, so my brain's not really working too well. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, I had that stuff, uh, that book for the longest time was the only thing I had. And I always wanted the other Fantasy Castle era sets. And I always wanted more castle stuff. And I just never got it as a kid. And then I got out of Lego, and now I'm back into it. And I'm trying to get all of the Fantasy sets. And I want to have that as sort of like a series on this channel to show me getting all the castle sets and stuff. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but over here I decided to make a little beach 
just, I don't know, I just wanted to, wanted to experiment with a little bit. It's really plain and not very good at all, but yeah, it, it kind of works, I don't know. Um, I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to do more of that kind of stuff. I did this uh, kind of grassy little clover field thing over here. So sure that was kind of cool. It's like kind of growing next to the water over here. Uh, everything else is just standard base plates kind of laying around. So I probably won't do, do too much of like this landscaping stuff, at least right now. But what I want later is that uh, everybody has like a city in their basement. I want to have a like a medieval city kind of layout thing with like custom landscape and custom castles and whatever, but mostly just a place to sit all of these castle sets in kind of a creative way like I did here. So this set is from the Knights Kingdoms as well. I forgot to mention that the, put this back, or just this set is also from Knights Kingdoms. Um, and yeah, this one's kind of in <laughs> shambles right now in, in pieces. I don't have all the right pieces uh, for this set right now. I'll probably brick link the sets or the sets, brick link the pieces, or I might just get a new version of the set. Uh, this is sort of the same over here, this thing. Um, it's kind of in pieces. It's like the border ambush, which is what the red guy, Santis, is from. Uh, I don't have it all put together because I was using pieces for other things. Um, other sets that needed the pieces. So I just decided to kind of keep it just in the middle here, but not really together. So that's okay. I might end up getting another version of that, like a complete version of it. Probably just used, but whatever. So yeah, we have these guys over here. Um, this is sort of a story to all of this. So right now it's just kind of like sort of peaceful. Everybody's kind of not really peaceful. They're sort of getting ready for war and there's a little bit of, of a battle right here. Uh, and I'll go over to the left in a minute showing the sort of evil army getting ready and stuff like that. So these guys are coming in on sort of like a diplomatic mission sort of coming over to them to be like, hey, we kind of need help right now <laughs> sort of thing. So I have this Knight's Kingdom guy. I have another of the Rashus, Raskus, Raskus. I think it's, I think that's what it is, Raskus. I don't know, but he's on his horse there. That's from this set over here, the uh, prison carriage set or something. I forget what it's called. I, I'm terrible with the names of these sets. I never remember them. Uh, I probably should have looked them up before doing this, but I eh, can't really be bothered to do that. So yeah, we have those guys there. We have this little training ground kind of thing. Uh, we have some forest people. Um, they're not like the original forestmen guys from like the 90s or 80s or whatever, but uh, I think I got two of them from Legoland or I, I got the three of them and I I guess I just changed the person out for for her. Um, she's got a wooden spear and a shield, which I don't know what that's actually from, but I've seen that deer shield before and I have no idea which theme that is. So if anybody knows that, put it down in the comments. Uh, if anybody's watching this, that is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple people had a couple comments recently. Uh, I forget the names of the people who commented, but thank you very much for doing that. It's awesome. Uh, so moving on, we have <clears throat> we have these sets here. I recently got these. Actually, I didn't have these when I was a kid. The I forget what they're called. Like a whoops, archer poly bag or something has this little target thing, a little box of weapons, and a fire, and it comes with a minifigure, which is the guy with the circle. Circle. Yeah, circle hat, silver hat is what I meant to say. Um, they have that guy. Uh, we have this guy back here. He has an older helmet. You can see it's not the silver one. That comes from a different set. But I guess I just didn't have a proper helmet for him, so I have the gray one for him. But eh, it looks fine. I have a little catapult here. That's also another kingdom set that I had when I was a kid. Uh, then we have this outpost tower, and we have a sort of Knights Kingdom army coming out of it. The what are they called? The Red Lion Knights, I think is the army name. So they're sort of marching out to come help these guys over here. And you can see we have some blue knights. Uh, these three that have the sort of duller gray, um, not crowns, uh, helmets. <laughs> they are actually new. I got those in the summer. Uh, well, they're new to me. They're not like new. They're um, I think from the 2013 theme that I missed out on. Um, I got three of these guys to sort of add to the army and some of these uh, other blue knights. 
I had the guy with the little feather thing. I had him and him with the mace, and that's all I had when I was a kid. Um, I actually don't know why I had the other guy. I think I... Yeah, I think I know. <laughs> I think I now know why. So, I originally had... He's supposed to be a uh, Knight's Kingdom guy. No, Knight's Kingdom. Uh, Lion Kingdom's guy. Jeez, it's hard to keep all the themes together. <laughs> but uh, he was supposed to have red arms, and I think I switched it out for blue arms. So... Yeah, he's not really supposed to be blue, but whatever. So we have these Dragon Knights, I think they're called, or the the black and green ones. They're from Knights Kingdoms. We have an orc. I got him actually from the Brickwiz, who's a YouTuber. Um, he's a guy I watch. I got him from his Bricklink store over the summer. Uh, he's on the Skeleton Horse, which is from the, the book, which had that set over there. And then we have Cedric the Bull, I think is his name. Uh, he's from a old set. It's like a catapult set and I don't have it built but eventually I'm going to try and rebuild it. We have this guy who's from the Dragon Knights which is from the 90s. I don't know why I have him. I think he was from like a eBay lot that I got a long time ago uh, that my dad got and then I got the skeleton guy. He's getting stabbed. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. He, I don't know why but his arm broke I guess when I was a kid so yeah I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> uh, he's the only uh, castle skeleton that I have um, which came from that book again. And then over here, we have that awful light that's right there. I'm trying not to show. <laughs> Probably going to move that. Uh, we have this sort of evil area over here. So we have the troll battle assault wagon here. We have the, uh, the other tower. Well, let's not break everything. This is not going to come off. Well, there we go. So this is the other tower I was talking about. We have a crossbowman from the Dragon Knights kind of up here. And in the cage... See if I can open this. Oh, there we go. Uh, we have this guy. He's an old castle guy. I don't know what thing he's from or who he is. So if anybody knows, I don't even know if he's put together correctly. But yeah, so he's just sort of in prison right now. Um, we have a prison carriage here, and then a second one, which we're gonna move the slides. So we don't look right at it. Is over here. So we have this. We have the dragon knight guy. He's sort of riding into. The castle over here. Uh, we have the scorpion knight, I think is what it's called, or scorpion soldier. He's kind of sitting there. And then in the carriage is this guy. And, and I think this is the same sort of situation where I had a red knight and I put blue arms on him so I could have more blue guys as a kid. <laughs> um, let's see if I can. No, I'm not going to be able to get him out of there, but he has like a screaming face on right now because <laughs> he's terrified that he got captured. Uh, and then here we have like some soldiers sort of marching out of the uh, castle, and this is Flatex Castle. I don't, it's not like the big castle, obviously, but it's one of the many uh, sets from Knights Kingdoms. And it's supposed to be on the water, which I was gonna put over there, but then I kind of got carried away and built the beach and then didn't really have a place to put that on. So I just have it over here and the boat is just kind of chilling on land right now, I guess, which looks kind of dumb, but oh well. I have this little like armor rack thing, which has, one of those double-sided flags where one side is the Lion Knights, one side is the Scorpion Knights. Just decided to, whoops, put it on there. Um, that's actually from uh, this set over here. So this is <laughs> the Knights Tournament set or something. This is my little bin that I keep a bunch of figures in, which I can go through later. But um, yeah, this is a sort of broken down set that I haven't rebuilt because I don't have all the, all the pieces for it. It's a couple of plates I don't have for it. And they're sort of essential for building the thing up. So I might just brick link, brick link that set and, you know, have that later. So, yeah, moving on, we have this, which I also got recently this summer. This is the troll, uh, I don't know, troll wagon polybag or something. Gets a troll warrior. This is uh, the first time I ever got one of these trolls. Because as a kid, again, I didn't have any. So uh, it's pretty cool to finally have them. Especially cool to have this big guy. I never had one of these, and he was a super cool big figure to get. Um, and then we have this catapult with the knight standing next to it. That's from this catapult, not catapult, <laughs> from the uh, the outpost set. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention this. This is a little scene that I made. Uh, this is the jester polybag or whatever. Um, so right now he's all happy. Uh, he has a cool double-sided face, which is like a crying face. Uh, I guess I could probably show that. So I'll just take his hat off. Um, 
in focus. Yes, it's like a <laughs> kind of a sad face. Uh, well, literally a sad face. He's crying, but I don't know why they decided to give him that face, like a happy face and then a sad face, but whatever. I guess that's what they wanted to do. Um, so we'll put him back. There we go. I'm always worried when I hear that sound that one of the brown plates broke because on <laughs> on this one of the pieces cracked because old brown or just brown that is old not the actual old brown color just old brown breaks all the time <laughs> it just kind of sucks but oh well we have some knights kind of sitting there watching the show um so yeah this is my layout um i'm eventually going to be adding more to it hopefully <laughs> Not hopefully, eventually, um, more and more sets. It's going to be a sort of series on the channel where uh, it'll be sort of like a haul series where I show um, each set that I buy and then I'll show like why I like it so much and why it means something. And I accidentally ran out of storage. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Uh, I forget what I was talking about. Um, oh man, what was I talking about? Uh, I think I was mostly done with everything. I think it was talking about, yeah, I was talking about buying the uh, sets and making a series about it and how uh, I'm gonna show like what they mean to me when I buy them and it'll be like a haul video yeah okay so <laughs> talking about that and how I'm going to show that and kind of probably show me placing that in this layout or maybe a bigger layout eventually um, so yeah that's kind of everything I have today um, oh, actually I can show you this over here um, so I have some figures and stuff in here. I have a bag of weapons and stuff. Uh, this shield, I don't... Is this from the this is from the Lion Knights? I don't know what set this would be. This is like the original Lion Knights from the 1990s, 80s. Um, these trans orange stuff is from the next one Knights, which shows what I was talking about. Um, and yeah, there's some custom figures in here, actually. I didn't make these, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I have some Game of Thrones figures. Uh, which are pretty cool. I can maybe do a video on these at some point. Um, but yeah, these are some of these are like custom figures that I made for something, which I may or may not show in the future. Um, yeah, so I'll probably just make a video on this later. Uh, this is a catapult that broke. Uh, I think this is either from a pirate set or it's from one of the castle sets. I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyways, that's all I have for you today. Ah, oh, stupid light. <laughs> Let's go over here to end the video. Um, so yeah, this is my layout, and hopefully it will be added to, and you'll see that later. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.